Oh. Whoa. There's Pokemon stuff. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. Today we bought a storage unit for $200. And this storage unit is filled with all kinds of excitement and surprises. And we almost didn't even get it. In the last one minute of bidding, I lost access to my computer and couldn't bid anymore. Luckily the bidding ended and we won. So let's just jump right in. Hope you enjoy. Um, let's grab it and pull. That's child for no There you go. Ooh, you're so strong. Wow. What we get? Wow. Okay. Ooh. We start off with NASCAR memorabilia. This is English kind of style. And then there's one down here. Look at that. Ooh, that one's really nice. Wow. I don't, That's what he saw that he liked. Yeah, I like this from the unit. Right. Yeah, what do you got there? I don't know, but it, it's, Some kind of toy? it's brand new. It's not been opened. Yeah. But inside it's moving. Dark Lord Boggles. That's kind of creepy. Made in China. That's funny. Clothes, Puma. These look nice. Yeah, those are nice. What do you yes. think? Are Puma good? Yeah, you should keep those. Yeah, they look fancy. Oh, what do you got there? Baseball cards? Yeah. Mm. I'll just start putting them right here. Okay? Okay. Look at all these cars. Seminole. Someone will buy these cards, but probably someone will probably buy these cards um, as like a lot, maybe. This is brand new. It's dirty, but it's brand new. Yeah. So that's paperwork inside. It's, I think it's a collector's unit. Yeah, sure. I think. crazy. <laughs> that's funny. Mortal Kombat toy. This looks old. This looks old. This could be money. Yeah. They like cards. This is a card collector. Look at that. Look at all those cards. I don't know that. Bakugo? Uh, that's nothing. Ninja. <laughs> that's newer. Ninja. Some sleeved cards, one of 19. That's cool. Yeah, these are kind of cool. This. What is this? Yeah, I, think it, I think it probably goes with. Don't put stuff on top of that. Empty oh! Guns. BB guns. Whoa! Yeah, I don't know if that's BB. I think it's plastic pellets. Plastic pellets? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that could be money, right? Maybe for I 30 have no bucks? Idea. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these mags. These BB gun mags. And then more, uh, more cards. Lottery ticket. They saved the lottery ticket. Is this something special? Oh, we got more Funko Pops. Ooh. These are cool. Chainsaw Man, or Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, these horror genre stuff. Nice. I have to look all these up. Super cool. Yeah, those are They're really cool. Movie ones. Yeah, the horror movie. Look at that. That's the I think it's a scar from Fortnite. <laughs> it's the, yeah, it's the gun from Fortnite. Nice. Oh, more Funkos and toys. There's Pokemon stuff. Huh? There's Pokemon stuff. Well, I'm not looking at it, I'm just putting it out here. That might mean there's cards. Just oh. <laughs> This one's cased. This Funko Pop's cased. It's sealed. This looks like it could be something. What is this? Hey, check that out. Certificate of Authenticity. Rose made. Real rose. 24 karat gold. 
dipped in 24 karat gold. Yeah, that could be something. Son Goku. Oh, it's a Goku figurine. This could be something nice. Where's more Star Wars? What? More Star Wars? Uh-uh. We just finished one Star Wars. We'll jump right back into another one. Check that out. Whoa. Nice. I think we got silver. It's like a choker, I think. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Is there nothing? Nah. It's a case for something, but... They paid 150 bucks for whatever it was. Hopefully we'll find out. Is it? We found half a dollar. It's a half it a dollar? It doesn't open? Is it roots? You no. take it to the bank and they'll give you a whole dollar back. Really? Maybe. Oh. It's 50 cents right there. Well, hold on to it. Put it in your in my pocket. Out. Fishing equipment. Those these reels. Ooh. Evo salt. Look at that. I don't know. More DVDs. This might be some. Now we're back from the storage unit. It's time to see just how much we made. Now it only took us three hours to clean the storage unit out, which is really good considering our last one took us an entire month. So let's just jump right in. Right here, we have a 20 to $30 Funko Pop. We have five of these $5 Funko Pops. We have four $15 Funko Pops. We have about 40 bucks in Pokemon stuff, a $10 Dragon Ball chain, a $50 Sterling Silver choker necklace. We have about 20 bucks in NASCAR. We have a 15 to 20 dollar Harry Potter Funko. We have a 20 dollar Funko out of its box. We have another five dollar Funko, and then we have a 40 to 50 dollar Mortal Kombat toy. But over here we have a 20 dollar gold plated rose. Then we come over to the silver plate. Now, although this is silver plate, there's still value in it mainly because of the design and because of the age. We have about $150 worth of silver plate right here. A lot of it coming from these two plates, mainly for the uh, high design. And then we have a $30 toy. So that's a pretty good start. Let's just see what else we can get out of it. So let's start over here with the airsoft guns. Now, most of these are only worth about 30, 50 bucks for the gun themselves, but the attachments are usually worth more than the gun for some reason. I was looking on eBay, I was seeing the guns selling low, but the attachments selling for higher. So I figure if I put the attachments on the gun, and I sell the guns, I'd be able to get the most money for them. We probably have about two to three hundred dollars in airsoft with the attachments. So that's nice. Down here we have a metal detector. This is actually one of the things that made me buy the unit. Because I wanted the metal detector. Uh, resale value is about 35 like it says on the mark. But it's still good. I'm going to use it for myself. I'm not going to be reselling that. And here we have the sports cards. Now my friend Eric helped me go through these. And figure out which ones are valuable and which ones weren't. And the best way I should sell them. Now we only have one card that's worth over 10 bucks, And that's this one. But if I sell all the others in a lot. And post it on Facebook Marketplace, he said I could probably get about 75 bucks for them. So that's great. Now we come over here, we have a 20 to 30 dollar Aztec Mexican wall plaque. We have a 20 dollar pair of shoes and a 40 dollar DVD. So we're looking pretty good. And then finally, we have this lot of clothing. I've gone through and picked out the ones that weren't worth selling, but I haven't looked up specific name brands. I know I've seen a few Ralph Lauren and Polo things in there, which is good. I believe there's probably about $100 worth of clothing here. I just realized that we forgot a few items. We have a Tsunami SW500 fishing reel. We have a Shockwave Pro. And we have a Mitchell Evo Salt. Now, this reel's worth 40, this reel's worth 40, and this one's worth 20. Now we come over here, we have a stone carved uh, chess set, which it could be jade, but it could, but it might not be. 
but unfortunately it's missing four pieces so i'm not gonna really i don't know if i'll be able to sell that on ebay if i if it had all the pieces it'd be worth probably 40 50 bucks then we get over here we have another yard sale item star wars and a ten dollar goku toy that about wraps up our storage unit run to summarize we spent 200 on the unit and got over 1100 dollars with the product so we did really well not only that but it only took us three hours to clean out the unit instead of a whole month like the previous one did and we only had to take one truck of garbage out of it so it was a lot easier than the previous one so overall it was a really nice experience i hope you enjoyed it just as much as i did if you liked the video please leave a like if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe hope you enjoy